Martin Scorsese never made Raging Bull with a focus group. Francis Ford Coppola didn't think about marketing tie-ins with Apocalypse Now, and Mike Nichols didn't care that Dustin Hoffman wasn't a movie star yet when he made The Graduate. Orson Welles never worried about how big his opening weekend was, and Stanley Kubrick never cared who he offended with his subject matter. If Quentin Tarantino was thinking about how to make a commercial movie, does he ever write Pulp Fiction? The only thing any of them ever cared about was making the movies that mattered to them and the ones they wanted to see. When exactly was it that it became okay to make boring, predictable movies that we've all seen a million times? Why can't the world get back to making films that make us think and inspire us? We make movies that we want to see, not the ones that the world tells us that we're supposed to make. And we're hoping some of you out there feel the same way. To me, the great hope is that now these little 8 millimeter video recorders and stuff are coming around. Some just people who normally wouldn't make movies are going to be making them. And, you know, suddenly one day some little fat girl in Ohio is going to be the new Mozart, you know, and make a, a beautiful film with her little father's camera recorder. And for once, the so-called professionalism about movies will be destroyed forever, you know, and it'll really become an art form. That's my opinion. And cut!